Man, it's uh, it's end of Feb, and it's raining. I know, raining. <laughs> Ooh, it's supposed to be dry season, and it's not, man. That's crazy. Taylor, Taylor, King, King. Don't fear failure. As long as it's not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Stronger. Again, we, welcome to the HN vlog. Today, I want to talk about what 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 are the key points you need to do as a diaspora, African diaspora, when you want to come back on the continent. Some of the mistakes I've made, um, and some of the the aspect I didn't, uh, you know, anticipate it. But um, a lot of time people come back for different reasons, so that's not the case. But whatever you do, number one, come back with enough saving for at least two years, whether it's a business, whether it's your for personal or professional uh, career, for a job, for example. Whatever the case that is, man, come back with at least enough money for two years. And you don't need a lot of money. You know, cost of living on the continent is much cheaper than... Uh, outside the continent but uh, my advice is you have to have enough cushion for two years so if you want to launch something if if it will take you time to look for a job you know uh, or um, you just want to take some time to figure out what you want to do two years that's what you need oh no what's that you lost your stuff <laughs> Hold on. You want to pick it up? Hold on a second. Oh, no. Number two, do not, I repeat, do not run a business from overseas thinking you can run your business while you, uh, wherever you are outside the continent, outside your country uh, of origin, and then you're going to have a guy or two are running it for you know for you on the ground and any business now some business i know um you can incorporate some uh technology and solutions where you think you can monitor but in my experience it always been a disaster um i mean i got so many stories but true story man i had a guy in real estate uh they had a real estate project with his own brother i mean can you imagine with his own brother and, you know, he used to come every six months. First six months, they had the foundation. And second six months, he come back. The house was done, but it didn't look at all what it was supposed to look like. Unfortunately, it was too late. He had lost his investment. He was, uh, <laughs> he, yeah, he was the one investing the, the money. And uh, that's what happened. You know, he lost it all. Uh, same thing, I, you know, in, in, in a second, another business in logistic, at a friend of mine. <laughs> Titi, you're killing me right now, man. Usually you quiet listening. What, what you, I know, man. Anyway, logistic, but don't, don't run your business from overseas. You know, it's not going to work. It's not going to work well for you. You got to be on the ground. You got to, you know, build it. Uh, set up a team. You can leave for a week or two, but uh, for months... Uh, month in, you know, you, it's gonna be a, a disaster most of the time. <laughs> you start crying? No, Titi, no. Uh, but the last key point uh, I definitely wanna talk about is uh, market research, man. That's a mistake I made. Um, you know, you're assuming, you know, when you're gone for so long, things change, man. Things uh, change from my left in 96, I uh, came back, um, well, to move uh, back on the continent in 2013. So uh, imagine, man, uh, I was very naive about the changes. I used to come on vacation, but you don't see everything on, on, on when you're on vacation. You mostly focus on enjoying time with family 
friends and uh, and uh, and people basically but uh, do market research you don't have to do a detailed market research but do a market research uh, either find a small company that can uh, get you the data you need I'll give you a perfect example so I was when I initially started I was doing um, solar kiosks for phone charging right so when I was writing my business plan I thought I was gonna make one dollar per charge uh, per phone you know and uh, Initially, that's what I thought. So I'm, I'm building this business plan around this premise of one dollar charge. How much to, sh to share with the with the person running the, the the kiosk? The business was highly lucrative. You know, uh, the numbers were right, but I didn't do market research. I didn't check the market. I didn't visit and check where people are, phone, are charging phones and see how much they charging. Uh, per, per, per for. I didn't check if there was other services I could do. I didn't even know about digital services before I moved in uh, because those were non-existent in the States, uh, uh, prepaid services and all those things. So I could have saved a lot of money and time if I'd done basic market research. And I spent, you know, a lot of money developing the first prototype of the kiosk that was, you know, after three months moving in, oh, moving in, coming back, testing the market, guess what? Business was 10 cents per charge. Boom, already killed my business plan. We're charging a lot of phone, but there were so many other services I could have focused on and prepared for and, and incorporate on my business plan and, and look what was needed. Uh, um, I'm not saying I would have developed a perfect motive model from from day one but instead of four prototypes that i went through after six years maybe i could have done only two you know and saved me a lot of money uh that would have really uh speed up the process who knows i mean i, I don't like to look back on mistakes but those are mistakes i made so i highly recommend uh, you do a basic market research, man. Ask the right question. Come and check it out for yourself. Visit other market in the region. Um, that will definitely, definitely save you time, man. First of all, thank you guys for watching the videos. I'm working on a project right now that I'm truly, truly passionate about. And with your participation, we can truly achieve this goal. It's called the 50K Challenge. Out of every 20 books we sell, we'll be giving one to a student or young entrepreneur. And out of every 500 books we sell, I'll be giving a mentorship for one week to a young entrepreneur. I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So share the books. If you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you.